Billy um, 150? Excited? Uh, yes. Um, no, I just obviously pretty blessed to be in the position that I am. Um, as a little kid coming over from Fiji, I dreamed to play one in our game, but I'm here 150. Um, yeah, as I said, just really grateful. There's a lot of people to thank uh, along the journey. So yeah, looking forward to it. It's um, it's a nice sort of um, circle because I mean, didn't didn't Gus Gould try? And, did he bring you down originally to to Sydney? Ah uh, yes, he did. Uh, that was um, 2015 when I finished up my under 20s up in Townsville. Um, yeah, he got me to Penrith, and uh, yeah, obviously I'm back here with him, so it's good. Has he had a huge influence on your career? Uh, I'd say yes. Yeah, um, he's always checking up on me. Um, he's, he's looked after my family. He's always asking how my family is. When he brought me down here, he brought my sister um, as well uh, to have a look at Penrith when I first moved to Penrith. And um, yeah, it's good. Is it a true story that um, he, he had three contracts? And he, he offered your first contract and you're going to sign that, but then he kept on giving you other contracts to, to sign which were better without you actually signing one? Is that just a myth? Oh, I don't know. No, I don't know <laughs> okay, about that. Okay. <laughs> nah. Not a true story. No. Okay. Uh, Gus's impact obviously has been quite profound on you, but what about Cameron Sorrell? I mean, you work with him at Penrith now, getting to work under him at the Bulldogs. How have you seen his growth as a coach? Yeah, it's been good. Um, I think it's just a matter of time. His second year as head coach, uh, he's got a long way to go as a, as a, to be a great coach. Um, and yeah, I've learned a lot from uh, Cameron and been really close with him since I've got to Penrith. Uh, he's uh, one of the persons that I um, sort of lean on to, ask questions about uh, anything. Um, pretty comfortable sharing that with him. I uh, got that level of trust with him and yeah, love, love Ciro. Um, yeah, pretty grateful to get to be coached how, by him. So how valuable of all these journey? Like last year he comes here, there are question marks, obviously the team doesn't go as well as he would have liked and this year all of, all of a sudden he's in conversation to be coach of the year. What does it say about him and do you think, like if he was under Ivan, do you think Cameron's shown this year that he could be the Dalian coach of the year? Uh, yeah, well, he's, he's just a really good coach. Um, he understands um, what winning looks like and um, he's got a Good, um, good IQ about the game, uh, defensively especially, and um, that's what I've shown in in the last last few years as assistant coach and now being a head coach. Uh, um, yeah, hopefully he gets that. Um, doesn't doesn't like the individual accolades. Uh, he's uh, he's always putting the team first in everything that he does. That's that's what we love in me. So. What's it say about his coaching? Like, where you were last year, everyone came in and looked like it was an exciting start and everything kind of went the wrong way. Like, to, to be able to turn it around in such a short space of time, what does that say? Uh, yeah, it just shows his um, resilience uh, in what he does and the passion he has for coaching. Uh, as I said, he knows he knows um, what winning looks like and the hard work you have to put in to get those results. And um, obviously that wasn't happening last year. Um, and yeah, new fresh start this year. Breath of fresh air, uh, getting um, wins, and um, and the boys just trusting the work that is um, put up. Um, uh, it's good. It's good to get good results. How big, how big, how big's career been for that as well? For that? I mean, like he seems like a natural captain, but he's still only young, right? Uh, yes. Who's it? Critter. Critter. Yeah. 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 He's um, he's a natural. Uh, leader, I think he was born as he was born to be a leader. Um, shows that with um, it's just contagious. Um, his energy uh, and he leads that too. He doesn't wait for anyone else uh, to bring that. He brings that as soon as he walks in this uh, building, and um, everyone knows that. And just contagious it spread spreads out through through the team. So it's good. Billy, do you notice a like you were there when Penrith went up and up? Do you notice a Penrith vibe about this place? Um, yeah, well, we got different players here, um, but um, yeah, it's it's going in that direction, which is um, 
which is pleasing, but um, we, we, I know everyone here knows we, we're a long way away from where we need to go. So, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's great to get wins and get this feeling after, after games, but um, still a long way to go. Billy, what about the growth in this side over the last 12 months? Like, I imagine this time last year and from where you are now, it must feel like a very different footy team that um, has a lot of belief. Yeah, I think that is, um, that's the word belief, um, just believing in what we do. I think we just, um, last year was just the lack of belief in, in the playing group and we weren't playing for each other, we weren't playing for, for the coach and the club. Uh, we weren't, I was just yeah, letting too many people down and this year we've, we've had some good players signed into this club, mm -hmm. they really wanted to work hard um, and put the club first. Uh, team second, individual third, uh, it's all around the walls in this club, you can't really walk past it without seeing it, so um, yeah, it's been it's been really good. Is it what you guys do off the ball in terms of your defence that gives you guys a lot of belief? Like, I mean, the best teams we've seen historically are the ones that have the best defensive records and we all know how good you guys have been in that area this year. Uh, yeah, it is. Um, obviously, um, Coach Shiro is a, is a defensive-minded uh, coach and um, yeah, and, and as you said, the record is just um, um, good defensive teams mm -hmm. seem to be seems to be there at the back end of the of the competition, um, and yeah, the boys have really bought into the structure and the defensive system mm -hmm. that that's uh, been implemented to this club, and it's really good that um, we're keeping um, keeping other teams um, within 16 mm -hmm. under 16 points uh, this year, so it's good. What are you expecting on Saturday night? You go from having 20,000 blue and white jerseys here, which is awesome on Sunday Arvo, but I imagine there will be a lot of red and white on Saturday. Uh, yeah, it will. Um, hopefully we still see a fair, fair few blue and white there. I'm pretty sure they'll all be there. Uh, so, yeah, we just need to go out there and perform well um, and hopefully get, get another win again. What was Sunday like? Like you've played in front of some big crowds, 80,000 people in the grand finals. This, I'm guessing, would have been a different kind of special. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it, to be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, as you said, playing grand finals a bit, it's a bit weird. Um, we're just getting off the bus and fans are like pulling some of the boys, just jumping over securities. I've never seen anything <laughs> like it. Um, yeah, we just, we spoke about it before we came from from the hotel to embrace it and take it all in. And when we run out there, obviously embrace the crowd and um, and perform. So, yeah. Was it actually hard to leave at full time? Like, after the game had finished, like, the streets were, like, full with fans. Yeah, well, we, we've been um, sent videos from some of the boys' mates or something. They must be around the road, and <laughs> it was just chockers there. So we got told to wait around for for farewell before we walk back to the Leagues Club, so crazy fans, yeah. You imagine how crazy it's going to be if you were to go all the way this year? Oh, I can't even imagine that, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> were, you, were you surprised when the um, Dragons went down and came under on the storm on the weekend? Nah, um, oh, all, the, all the games, have, we've seen the ladder there, how tight the, the competition is with, with points. Um, just under that, I think Melbourne and Penrith under that, everyone is just fighting for every inch. But mm. um, yeah, they played really well against a, a good Melbourne Storm team who's up there in the ladder. And um, yeah, I will be expecting them far up again this this week. Obviously, playing in their home ground, so mm. gotta be ready. There appears to be a bit of feeling between the two clubs. A couple of old Bulldogs there, and they'll, they'll be a bit extra in this game. Yeah, we expect it um, playing against. Any other team, but obviously, yeah, a couple of the boys um, have moved on from me, uh, playing for the Red V, and um, yeah, we're looking, really looking forward to the challenge.